Hi, I'm Neil Ward Dutton. I work for IDC in Europe, leading our AI and automation practices. And in these weekly short videos, I'm talking about recent research we've done, uh, conversations we've had and ideas we're exploring. Document capture software has been around for decades. And for most of that time, it was complicated, expensive, highly customized software requiring significant compute and storage resources. And as a result, it was mostly used in the back offices of large companies with large document management problems like banks, insurance companies, government agencies, healthcare systems, and so on. And they'd use it to process invoices and contracts and correspondence and claims and things like that. And also as a result, uh, this technology was largely integrated into specialized document or content management solutions. Today, uh, the market for capture software is worth around about $270 million in Europe, and it's growing uh, in the modest single digits each year. However, the market, which until recently has been a bit of a sleepy backwater, is set, I think, for a bit of a storm. Over the past year or so, the three largest public cloud providers with big AI investments, Microsoft, AWS, Google, have all launched document AI services. Now, all three providers have slightly different offerings today, but at a high level, they're all the same. They're standalone cognitive services that can automatically recognize, classify, and extract data from human readable documents and forms. You pay per document, you provide a document to this service API, and you get structured data back. Needless to say, the modern cloud-based model that these cloud providers are using API-based services, paper document use, that kind of thing, is drastically different from what's come before. Does that mean, though, that the existing document processing vendors are all sunk? Is Capture going to be captured from the likes of IBM, Cofax, OpenText and Abbey? Well, no, not necessarily. These cloud-based uh, document AI services are primarily aimed at developers to embed into other things. The tools and facilities that are currently built around them are, for the most part, pretty rudimentary at the moment. What's more, the established players are reinvigorating their offerings uh, and, and moving quite quickly. Uh, they're embracing AI-powered processing, cloud-based delivery, and API-based integration of services. And uh, the established players are all uh, reacting in their own ways. IBM, for example, just a couple of weeks ago, announced a new AI-based offering within its larger automation portfolio, uh, which is called IBM Automation Document Processing. Abby has been on this path a little longer, and as well as infusing its capture offerings with AI and ML, it's now created a platform that makes it easy for automation vendors to plug various AI-powered document processing skills into their offerings. OpenText has introduced AI augmented capture, leveraging aspects of its Magellan platform in combination with its Captiva technology. And it's now also launched cloud-based open core capture services. Nevertheless, I'm confident that the economies of scale that the large cloud providers all are now bringing to the document capture space are going to have the same kind of effect here as they've already had in the speech and language space we'll likely see a wave of uh, market development on top of these APIs, and AI-driven document capture services are gonna become available in more and more contexts to more and more organizations. This stuff won't just be for large enterprises um, like insurers or government agencies anymore. Whether today's largest players remain as important in the next couple of years as they are currently will depend largely on whether they figure out how to play against these new cloud providers' agenda of innovation, cloud economics, and democratization. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think. As always, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Cheers.